This is a keyboard replacement video tutorial, highly abridged for the MSI GT72S 6QE Dominator Pro G laptop. It's so basically, this tutorial is not from start to finish, from like taking the screws out, putting it all back together again. It's little pieces of vital information that you need in order to disassemble and replace the keyboard. But the information depicted is accurate. Taking apart my laptop, this is like surgery on electronics. It's pretty intense. We got the main board out. We didn't have to actually take the CPU off, the CPU heat sinks off, or anything like that, which I'm extremely impressed about. They actually just screw in to the back of the board on this side, which really makes our job way easier. Ooh, there's the serial numbers and everything for all these parts. Version 1.0 motherboard. If I ever have to replace that. But keyboard's under here, so we're almost there. Just I don't. A few, few more screws, and I think we'll be in. So it's coming along. We this front piece has to come off of this, this in order piece. to get to the keyboard. It actually well, goes this way. Actually, you have to and get to the hinges. To get to the hinges, this comes off. It protects them, and you can't pull the hinges out from this side until you take that off. It comes so out. this will not come out mm -hmm. until you take this piece off. And it just clips in. So And covers this whole hinge area up. Yeah. Then we may be able to take the screws out of here and take the whole this whole hinge, pivot it up out of the way so we can take this back off. And then that will free up this metal plate to come off and then we'll have access to the keyboard. That's what we're hoping anyway. Yeah. We finally got the hinges to come loose. After removing this piece. Right. From the other side. This and is not both, made as part of this. It is removable. So both of these hinges have pulled out. Now we ought to be able to lift the keyboard cover up. Right. But we've got tape here we have to undo. So next step. Something so else you holding just, it. Hang on, let me look underneath. See what else is so you, oh, as, the keyboard's holding it. But as you can see, these tabs are free to slide out once you pull the existing keyboard up. Try not to scratch it. Well, I'm trying to get the keyboard to release. And there it goes. And Lifts off just like that. There's the tab. Oh. The tabs, two tabs that were giving us trouble that went in there. Right in there. Yep. Looks I only got one of them in. Uh, I can see how it goes together. But so in order, in order to get to this point, we had to take everything out with the computer, including this main shell, which surrounds the motherboard and everything else here. Um, hard drives, solid state drives, fans, IO board, um, DVD drive, everything. So this is the new keyboard. We just put it in here. As you can see, it lifts off like that and it fits into these little grooves or these little key cutouts here and this is actually all one piece on this this piece here this plastic base plate at the very top of the computer when you open it so it this just holds this and a couple screws and everything is pretty much reassembly from this point we have to put that steel plate back on and uh, some tape and stuff like that to make sure everything goes down properly okay so now the next part of the process we just put this metal plate down there are clips here and here. This just kind of slots into these little uh, grooves here and here. And we had to make sure cables were out of the way. We're doing some retaping and stuff to make sure everything's secure. 
Um, these go to the wireless card, so you have to make sure two of those cables are free. So we got to reattach the hinges and stuff and we'll be good to go, I think. Hmm. Lots of screwing things down again. So we made an error and that is if you do not pull these ribbon cables from the keyboard out first, you will screw them down and you won't be able to get to them until you take the hinge loose again, which you can't do until you take this off and you have to like pry it, the little tabs off and it takes forever. So make lots of sure that you always pull the ribbon cables out first through this slot and the steel plate before you start assembling. Okay. Okay, this is the cap plate that goes uh, over the hinge pins on each end and the long tang. So there's a short side and a long side. I'm reading the model number. The short side and the long side here. The long side goes to the back of the unit. Right. So it's dropping in there and you just snap it in place. Of. It's easy to say. There it goes. It's all snapped in. So, all right. Okay. This is what it looks like from the back side. Once it's snapped in. Once it's snapped into place. 